All right, quickly, I want to update you uh, news-wise. Uh, you know, one of the things making the news today was the fact that uh, Lori Lightfoot, Lightfoot? Um, the mayor of Chicago, uh, was knocked out of the, uh, her, her re-election campaign. Um, basically, she failed. Uh, it's a, it, there will be a runoff between two other candidates to determine who the mayor of Chicago is. Uh, this is pretty... Um, Pretty shocking for, I think, uh, many Democrats. Lightfoot was a rising star in the Democratic Party. She was considered this, uh, you know, the first uh, African American uh, woman to uh, be um, be the mayor of, a, of, I think, a major city. Uh, she was considered one of the progressive stars, and uh, and she won, I think, by fairly comfortable margin when she ran for mayor four years ago. Uh, but she was mayor of Chicago during COVID and made a lot of bad decisions during COVID, lockdowns. Uh, but I think what really, what really uh, made uh, Lightfoot uh, not acceptable to voters is the fact that during COVID uh, she was so, and really during the BLM riots, she was so forgiving of BLM, of the damage that they did, of the stealing that was going on, of the destruction of property. She refused to prosecute, or she, she, she I don't know that she had a, a say, but she, she vocally supported the rioters, including when they broke into stores and stole things. She, would, she, she encouraged the police not to prosecute them. Um, I think she was, uh, so she was very, very, very friendly to the worst elements within BLM. And then, of course, I think that the, the BLM riots and the demonstrations um, it took a city that was already uh, pretty bad in terms of homicide rates and, vi and violent crime. If you remember, Donald Trump had, had said that he's going to send federal troops into Chicago to clean up Chicago before COVID because of, of, of violence. Well, I think her response and her weakness and, and the response and, and, and just generally the weakness of the response to a BLM, I think ultimately encouraged a dramatic spike in violence in Chicago. Chicago has been dealing with, with a, a huge increase in violent crime over the last, uh, since COVID. It was already high before COVID. Uh, now 2022 was a slight reduction over 2021, but still a very high rates of crime. And, and I think people are just fed up with crime. Um, in addition to that, Chicago schools are notoriously bad, notoriously uh, uh, particularly bad for, for low-income residents, for the minority populations within, uh, within Chicago. Uh, she did nothing to change that. Indeed, uh, she was aligned with the teachers' union, uh, teachers' union that I think betrayed children, betrayed their profession, betrayed everything that they're supposed to be as educated during covid uh, but betray children really every single day in Chicago. Chicago schools are just horrible, uh, and again, particularly uh, the uh, low income in the low income areas. And and so everything in Chicago um, uh, was was a lot of uh, some of the major uh, corporations that had uh, that had uh, operations in Chicago have uh, recently relocated. They were leaving Chicago. Chicago really gives the sense under, under Lightfoot, but it started well before her, of a city that is dying. Um, so basically, the two candidates that, that did win the race, um, uh, that, that got the most votes and will run, out, will run in, a, uh, in, a, in a runoff in, in a few weeks, uh, one candidate, uh, all of them Democrats, by the way, but, but you know, the, it's a nonpartisan race, so they, anybody can run. But the candidate who won, who got the most votes, is actually a guy who was accused throughout the campaign of being a Republican, even though he is a lifelong Democrat. Uh, but the reason he was blamed for being a Republican was that he emphasized law and order, and he, he ran the campaign on, I will stop the violence, I will, uh, I will increase the police budget, I will increase the number of policemen in the streets, I will not tolerate Chicago uh, as, as this unbelievably violent place. So... Um, I think that's a very positive sign. It, it, he's, he's not the first. I mean, Adams in New York is another mayor who's committed to uh, reducing violence in the city, uh, even though he's a, he's a Democrat. I think that uh, many of the, uh, many if not all, of the, of the defund the police candidates, whether defund the police candidates for 
mayor or defund the police candidates for district attorneys have lost. The country overwhelmingly is not supporting defund the police agendas. The country overwhelmingly is not a progressive country. Even in some of these cities that vote democratic, they're not open to, um, you know, to uh, the, the, the crazy left idea. So we're seeing a pattern in city after city, in, 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 um, in uh, school district after school district, where the most crazy of the left are being uh, voted out. Uh, I, I'm sure not everywhere. Uh, certainly, in, uh, I would have liked to see a different outcome in uh, the, the, the mayor race in Los Angeles. Uh, there was a candidate that was far better, a, 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 a businessman who lost to um, who lost to a, 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 a lost uh, the mayoral candidacy to uh, to a woman who was quite progressive in Los Angeles. Uh, but in many cases, uh, we're seeing uh, the progressive lose out, lose out in elections. I think this is a positive trend, and it shows that America is is just not ready for the for the craziness, for the craziness that uh, is the radical left. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution. Uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.